Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I'm very happy to have you here. Today we are doing the reading for Sagittarius for the last week of October and this is finances and career reading. So we're going to look into the energies of uh, your job, career, finances, money, anything that has to do with that. If you're interested in that, stick around and we'll see what's coming up for you. Okay, Sagittarius, last week of October, money and career. Okay, money and career, last week of October for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius last week. No. Yes. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. What I see here for you guys is for those of you that are working for somebody, this is not for the people that have their own businesses, I see quite a bit of competition around you. I see that there is an opportunity of um, possibly a promotion at the work that you, um, at the workplace that you are right now. Uh, there seems to be an opportunity of uh, a new job as a new promotion and there is a lot of competition around it. So you're most possibly looking for applying for this new job, but you are a little bit afraid here that you might not have uh, as many choices and there could be other people around you that want to have this job as well. And you're a little bit unsure in yourself. What do you need to remember is that uh, the queen of pentacles here, the energy that you embrace is a very stable and successful queen when it comes to her money. Queen of Pentacles is the one who has all the money that she needs. She has all the career success that she could possibly get. She has it all. And you are the one to embrace this energy. You're the one to overcome the competition. And this new offer is for you. It is for you for grabs. It, it does look to me like you're reminiscing about the past here a little bit. You know, like I said, you are a little unsure. This is uh, something that you will be able to get. You're thinking about your past, you might be having some memories of uh, the last job that you had or the current position and you're thinking if you really want to go for this new offer. But it seems to me like this new offer was actually very good for you. It's going to bring you to a very good financial position here. That's what I see Sagittarius. Let's see, let's see what other messages we have here for Sagittarius, for job and finances, money messages please, for Sagittarius, money messages. Let's get a couple more. All right, guys, what I see here is you are a little unsure this week. You're definitely unsure if you should um, maybe apply for this uh, new position that opened up at your work or if you should stay where you are. You're definitely making a decision. You have two swords here. You're in a hangman mode. You're thinking about it. There is some ending. It feels to me like um, maybe you don't feel much um, 
satisfaction anymore in the position that you are at the moment, at the job that you're doing. There is a three of swords here and ten of swords. It talks about um, heartbreak and when it comes to uh, money and um, career reading, this talks about dissatisfaction with the job that you do. So it seems to me like you're ready for this new beginning. You're ready for a new journey. You, you have a full card here together with Ace of Cups, which talks about a new beginning. You're looking for the job that is as money lucrative as it is emotionally fulfilling for you. That's what you want. You don't want the job that just pays the bills. You want something that actually is emotionally fulfilling for you as well. But you are juggling here. You're definitely in two worlds about it. You're not sure. It looks to me like this is a week when you need to make decisions. You have four pentacles in reverse and four pentacles upright. So you're in between and you're not sure here which way to go. That's what I see. The hangman is thinking, thinking what to do. You need to take this blindfold off and actually here with the nine of cups in reverse, two of swords, it totally makes sense. You do not see the options that are actually in front of you with that blindfold. You gotta take it off. You gotta take it off. That's what I see for you, Sajis. Let's go ahead and pull some coffee cup oracle cards and see what oracle messages we have for you here for the last week of October for job, money, career and finances. Indecisions, just like I was saying, this reading screams indecisions. And two walls about something. All right. Okay, guys, so what we see here, like I said, in decisions, you're definitely thinking about something. You are unsure, very unsure this week. The new position, this new position that is opening up, the promotion position, it could, uh, it could be something that you will have to relocate for. And this is possibly the reason why you're unsure if you should apply for this job or not, because you're looking for stability. You're looking to grow your roots, settle down, and if you are unsure, and you are unsure if um, relocation is the right choice for you, this is what I see here. This could be a, this could be in a challenge position for you. That the new position, the new job, has something to do with you needing to relocate and grow your roots somewhere else. There will be news coming in. There will be definitely messages about this. You will hear about this more. You will learn about this new opportunity more. And there are changes. There's new cycles in your life here. This uh, change that you will do with your job, if you decide to go for, will bring new cycles in your life. So are you ready for the change? That's the question of the reading. That's what I see for you, Sajis. I hope you got something from this reading. I hope it was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And comment on it. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's any other subjects that you want me to make videos on. And I will try to accommodate you. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.